Nick Lodolo gets the ball. Lodolo, it's mixing in a few more change-ups, more than we've seen in the past, and I think it's the maturation process. It looks like these guys are thinking more about pitching, less about throwing out there, and that's a good sign here in Cincinnati. Beautiful pitch, struck him out looking. Well, this is just a great pitch right here. This starts well off the plate. You give up on it, definitely catches the strike zone. Go ahead, say out. No, not even close. Mm -hmm. So with one out, a base runner. It's a one out walk, first base runner of the game. And here's Cody Bellinger. There he goes. And the pitch is high, throw down to second, and it hits Suzuki. And it's a stolen base. Dolo looked to second, now the 2 2 pitch. Swing and a miss, struck him out. There's that breaking ball sweeping down and away and Bellinger flailing at it came up empty chopped up the middle throw to first offline and safe at first is Christopher Morrell Suzuki down there at third and they're at the corners he inhabits the batter runners at first and third with two outs and here comes the three two swing and a miss he struck him out curveball down and in and Hap swung right over it. He's down on strikes to end the Cubs first inning. The lefty Justin Steele talked earlier about his struggles against the Reds lifetime two and three with a six point six eight ERA. Stuart Fairchild stands in and Steele. And that one is hit in the air out towards right center. And say Suzuki makes the catch. Ellie De La Cruz, two run homer yesterday. His last four games hitting 333. 3 2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Threw it right by him. 93 MPH. Candelario's on a nice roll. He's hit safely in six straight. Next offering cut on and miss. Struck him in. out. Back to back strikeouts for Justin Steele. He looks sharp in the opening frame. And down on strikes David Bodie. That is four strikeouts already for Nick Lodolo. The first two Cubs retired in the second inning. Michael Bush, who was the final out yesterday, is a pinch hitter in the ninth. That's ripped right center field. That'll touch down, and that's going to roll. Bush around first and into second, and he's got a double. So there you go. First extra base hit to a left handed batter allowed by Lodolo this year, and it's a two out double for Michael Bush. RBI opportunity for Miguel Amaya, the Cub catcher, has 13 runs batted in. Let's see if he can add to that total right now. Top to third, Candelario coming in with the runner on him. Apply the tag. Oh, smart move. Five unassisted on a very unusual play, one that you almost never see, but it ends the inning. And that is a three up, three down. Third, we are scoreless. Bottom of three coming up. After two and a half, nothing, nothing game. Cubs and Cincinnati. And that is nine up and nine down to begin the ball game for the Cubs left-hander Justin Steele. Reds in order. No hitter, no hitter, no hitter. Christopher Morell will lead things off here in the Cubs fourth inning. Ladello coming off a one, two, three, third inning. Might have broken his bat. De La Cruz going way out. Touchdown, Ellie. The fade pattern for the first out. It's all about the first step right there. See Ellie with the nice little drop step, swivel the hips, defensive back, no panic, easily runs underneath this ball. Struck him out. Half dozen for Lodolo. He's seen it all different quadrants. Got a swing at it. Tough to catch up to. Two outs in the fourth inning, and now Dansby Swanson. Struck him out. Seven for Lodolo. He's retired seven straight. Red still looking for their first base runner of the night. Scoreless through the first three and a half. And it's a one out walk to Ellie De La Cruz. And the best base stealer in the game is on. The first red to reach against Justin Steele. De La Cruz's first move was back to the bag. Just got a word from Colin Calgill, first base coach, in his ear. He goes pickoff. Tag awkward and missed late. The Cubs guessed right, and De La Cruz still sped him up. And took second base. Michael Bush gets this ball. You see the rush. Understands Ellie De La Cruz is running. Safe on the bad throw. That gets by. Steer flies down to first. Amaya forces a throw. That was brought in cleanly by Bush, but Steer is on first and third. It was a slider down and in. That ball got into the dirt and somehow got past Amaya. Now it's first and third for Stevenson. Of all the Reds to this point, Stevenson had the sternest contact. He whistled a line drive to Bellinger at nearly 100. That is drilled over third. Base hit. De La Cruz scores. Steer rips for third. Windmill is on. Steer roars home. Swanson relay. No shot. Two run double. Two nothing Reds lead. 
Taking advantage of opportunities. And Tyler Stevenson once again with another great at bat. This time the breaking ball stays right on it, pulls it down the left field line. Spencer Steer can run, scoring easily from first base. On one pitch, David Bodie is retired to begin the Cubs' fifth inning. So one down, and the batter is Michael Bush. That's ripped to right field, and it'll sink down for a base hit. And Michael Bush is two for two. Sales to right, Fairchild way over. Makes the play. It's a lot of ground that Stuart Fairchild had to cover. Ouch. Oof. Wisdom gets kerplunked and now to reward with two outs and an opportunity for Seiya Suzuki. Off the inside edge, and that is ball four. And Suzuki will take his base, and now they're loaded. And Cubs threatening. They've got the bases loaded. Top five. Cubs down by two. Cincinnati with a 2 nothing lead. Cody Bellinger due up. Dolo from the belt to the plate. Bellinger first ball swinging. Skies a pop up on the left side of the infield, and Candelario's there to catch it. Whew. He puts it away. The inning's over, and the Cubs leave him loaded. Well, here's Blake Dunn still looking for that first major league hit. First big league hit for Blake Dunn, and he's eyeing two. Up to second, the throw, double. Congratulations to Blake Dunn. And you talked about the speed of this young man. Get the camera on this, because he can fly. Fairchild is 0 for 2. He's under at second base, two outs. Reds trying to add to their 2 nothing lead. Fairchild roller. Dunn giving the green light. And another is Dunn scores standing, 3-0 Cincinnati. Back-to-back -back two out hits, Dunn's first big league hit a double, and then Fairchild guides a ground ball right by Dansby Swanson and into left center field for an RBI single. Well, Cubs have been unable to solve Lodolo so far. Let's see if Dansby can do a little damage here. He hit a line drive bullet in his first at bat to left. Swats it, drills that one out towards right center. That one back on its way, gone. Home run, Dansby swats it out to right center field. The Cubs are on the board, and it is 3-1, and for Swanson, number six. So the Cubs are on the board. They trail 3-1. Quality start complete for Nick Lodolo. One Ernie, six innings, seven strikeouts on 99 pitches. Martinez coming on for the 15th time, the 10th time out of the pen. Fly ball, right field. Fairchild has it measured just shy of the track. He'll make the catch, and that is a three-up, three-down seven. Bottom of the eighth inning, Drew Smiley, the new man on the mound for the Cubs. Appearance number 14 for the veteran, 18 innings and a ERA of 4.50. In the air, shallow right field, Bodie out and makes the catch. Smiley, a very sharp one, two, three inning. Cubs need some offense. Here's the closer, Alexis Diaz. 26th appearance for the Reds right hander, looking for his 13th save on the year. Cubs are down to their last chance, and Michael Bush steps in. Bush will take his base, and it'll bring up the tying run, and Miguel Lamaya will get. The chance to hit. That's drilled left field. Pretty well struck. Dunn back. Leaping. Can't get it. Off the wall. In to score is Bush. In to second is Amaya. And the Cubs are within one. Amaya just misses hitting a game tying home run. I mean, he leans on this one. And just a little bit below that yellow line out there in left field. Foot higher. We got a tie game. And now an opportunity for Patrick Wisdom. Strike him out. A season high, six straight wins for the Reds. They have claimed the first two of this series against the Cubs.